From WRAL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus News Brief for Friday, April 9th. I'm Mark Boyle. Some scary moments at the Wake County mass vaccination site on Thursday when 18 people had an adverse reaction to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Out of an abundance of caution, Wake County Public Health closed the clinic about two hours early. Of the 18 people being monitored, 14 had minor reactions and four were taken to the hospital. Across the nation, more than 4.5 million people have received the J&J shot, and officials tell WRAL News what they saw on Thursday was consistent with what's being documented. Most of the symptoms and side effects fall within the side effects and symptoms that we would expect. Um, I think what was just a little different today was the number of adverse events that we had for the number of vaccines that were given. Dizziness, um, we had some individuals who um, complained of uh, allergic reaction type symptoms as well and, and a few individuals who reported uh, you know, uh, feeling nauseous and, and, and a few individuals who ended up um, throwing up. UNC also paused its distribution of the Johnson & Johnson doses. A few hours after the scare, analysis by the CDC did not find any safety issues or reason for concern, and the CDC recommends continuing to administer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Thank you for listening, and a little plug here. You can listen to complete WRAL newscasts in podcast form. Subscribe to WRAL News Daily wherever you listen to podcasts. We post five newscasts each weekday and two on weekends. You'll get all the news, weather, and sports you'd get on television, but in audio form. Just search WRAL News Daily. For the Coronavirus News Brief, I'm Mark Boyle.